My name's Leslie Grady and I'm labelled and um, I'm, I've been a member for nearly seven years. I'm currently the secretary of the Embroiderers Guild of South Australia. I've been a member of the museum team for almost six years and they were looking for someone who could take photographs and I said well I've got a reasonable camera so it was well come on in. <laughs> so being part of the museum team is very educational. If you're interested in, in textiles and fabrics and, and stitchery in general, the things that we have here are quite incredible. And so the museum looks after the collection on behalf of the Guild. The collection has grown since the formation of the Guild in 1965. It started off with a bundle of lace and an embroidered pincushion and the pieces were kept in a blanket box. That was as the collection grew and it outgrew the blanket box. There are all sorts of objects, especially when we go back now and look at, you know, why did we have these in the first place? I think it was, we were very grateful for everything that came our way. But once the collection grew and it outgrew the blanket box and it's stored now in this museum room and it's outgrowing the room, <laughs> there has to be certain criteria that objects have to meet. And so we now look at them more critically and say, have we got something similar? Is this better than what we already have? Is it a sample of best practice? Is it a rare object? And so we have to tick quite a few boxes now before we can accept an object. And that's purely from a space perspective. The objects that we're taking in now must be hand-stitched. If we inherit a collection, as we have recently, we take it take the whole collection so there may be some mixed stitching media in that. That collection then forms part of our collection. The other reason that we have the collection is as a resource for members and also for those who teach at the Guild. So if they're teaching a particular style of embroidery they can come to the museum, they can look it up on the database and ask to borrow some pieces and they're used as examples for members who are learning that style of embroidery. There are three things, um, time, resources and continuity because we're all volunteers and we all have a limited amount of time that we can make available. The ongoing um, job for us is to record any new items being accepted into the collection. So that's, that's a constant. The resources that we had um, were helped by a grant from um, the History Trust when we did a special project, um, Embroidered Signatures project, a few years ago, where we went around the state looking for these special pieces and recording them for posterity and also for a database that we created, and that's now all on our website as well. Getting funding for that really helped us to get a good camera for the Guild. The Guild purchased um, lights, because when we were going out to visit um, country areas or we were in different halls trying to photograph these big objects, we've actually got some standalone LED lights now that we can take with us. That's the resources. So the resources are really important and that's what, what's helped us move it forward and also to put good images on the website.